POC Network Tech here with another unboxing, this time coming from the company Matter and Form. This is a 3D scanner. It's a laser-based 3D scanner that was developed by Matter and Form because they were looking for an option that wasn't going to break the bank. They couldn't afford some of the 3D scanners that were out there, so they decided, why not make your own? So this is a, like I said, a laser-based 3D scanner. It's a, it's it's made uh, uh, for the target audience of like general consumers and hobbyists alike, people that don't exactly wake up every day and say, hey, I'm gonna spend three to five grand on the scanner because I want one. But more like the MSRP of this one, which is around $520, much more reasonable. And you can generally find it in certain locations for slightly less than that, like Amazon, which we will make sure to provide links um, once we find that information, uh, both uh, below and or in the full review when our team takes a look at this. But uh, this is made for smaller objects, uh, like apples and toys and things like that. Uh, smaller things, you know, that'll fit in the palm of your hand, uh, give or take. And what it does is it comes readily assembled in the box, so you don't have to be a rocket scientist to put it together. You just take it out, you set it up, you hook it up to your computer. You obviously have to know how to use the software, so there's going to be a little bit of learning curve there. But what you do is you place the, the product uh, on the actual platform, and the laser-based camera will do a 3D scan of the item and import it into a file that can be used for later on your computer. You can simply just store it, so you can save it for later uh, for safekeeping, or you can send it to a 3D printer. Uh, a lot of today's 3D printers are supported by this, so you can, if you have, if you're a lucky person who has a 3D scanner at home, or excuse me, a 3D printer at home, then this scanner can get that image to the 3D printer and recreate the object in which you've scanned. You can also send that uh, file to a lot of online printing companies who will do the 3D printing for you. And you can always do it that way as well. And of course, you know, there's other, you know, usages of this. You can, you know, input the design or import the design in other applications, you know, that'd be video games, uh, animations, um, or uh, say you want to display a product online, uh, more than likely you should be able to do that with this, uh, with a 3D, you know, view of the product that a consumer can play around with and rotate around with their mouse. Uh, in fact, coming up in a real, uh, real shortly, I believe, we have some, uh, uh, well, we always have stuff coming in the mail, so, but we have some stuff that should be able to fit on this, so we'll make sure uh, uh, to try to, you know, throw a 3D representation on there, uh, and we'll mention that it was brought to you by Matter and Forum, thanks to their sending this over to us, uh, so you can see what it looks like, the actual final design, but, uh, or final output. But what we're going to do today, this is the unboxing of the product, so we're going to open it up, we're going to take a look inside and show you exactly what it looks like inside, and then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to our website at pocnetwork.net slash blog, or pocinc.net forward slash blog, and see what our, our team of authors have to say about it, uh, because they're going to be breaking this down and having a lot of fun with it uh, today, tomorrow, the next day, and hopefully not too many days, because we'd love to get to review to you ASAP. So, let's go ahead and start and open up the box and see where we get from there. Like I said, the, the, the scanner itself is fully assembled, so it's user-friendly. They're, they're trying to make it as, uh, you know, uh, painless as possible so that you don't have to worry about, you know, learning how to put anything together. Uh, first thing you come to in the box is instructions, some information. You have important product information, and uh, we'll go ahead and pop that open so I can just... Not just assuming what's in here. Put that off to the side. You have important product information, which is going to give some information. Just uh, looks like just dis disclaimers, some legal information, lots of small print, in multiple different languages. And this is, uh, let's see, it looks like it's a manual. It gives you a kind of a breakdown of what comes in the box. It tells you where to download the software at matterandform.net forward slash download. Uh, the various different uh, plug modules, in case you don't live in the U.S. And, you know, how it obviously connects USB to the computer and power to the wall. And that's it. It shows you where to place the thing on the, on the scanner and what buttons to hit. It's actually really super user-friendly. There's not a lot of things to this. It's, you know, obviously, you know, they have a little icon to represent what they're talking about on this page, a little diagram. And that's it. Um, and then it ends at, if you have any questions, go to matterinform.net forward slash help. It's kind of like the Ikea of... Uh, 3D scanners, it looks like. Real simple, well, that, that's debatable, actually. But, you know, basic instructions, not a lot of details. But for this, based on the fact that it's pre-assembled, unlike IKEA, you're not going to be questioning constantly, going, well, does, what's this piece? Does it, is, is it this piece? It doesn't exactly say, you know, uh, for those of you who have purchased anything from IKEA. Let's see. Okay, we have a box. Uh, a little plastic box. Uh, let's see what's inside. We have a USB cable, 
This is a general USB A to USB B type uh, cable. You'll uh, you'd recognize this mostly from uh, devices like printers and scanners uh, that you'd normally attach to the computer. Uh, you have a, a your AC adapter with a universal mount in the front there, so that way whatever plug type you're trying to connect into, you have your options here in case you travel around. You got your European plugs and whatnot, and of course your US outlet plug. Go ahead and take the scanner out. And get rid of the box. A little protective cloth pouch there. A little bit of plastic. Let's get rid of that. And there you have it. This is a matter informed scanner. And it's just going to pop open somehow. Make sure I can do this without damaging anything. Keep in mind, I'm not reading the instructions like the instructions say, you know, or, you know, sh they, they show you how to do all of this, you know, and it's really simple based on the format of those instructions, yet I'm still not reading the instructions. Um, so there's a little button right here. You push into that button and this pops open like this. And it looks like it wants to go this way. This is a little protective thing for the camera. I'm going to assume maybe that this, there we go, pops down like that. I'm going to take a quick look, make sure I'm not missing anything. This at least gives you an idea of what it looks like if you just wing it and assume you can just take it out of the box and figure it out, which seems to be the case. Um, there you have it, Ma again, matter and form 3D laser-based scanner. You would place the item on here, you know, let's say this is the item, put it right there, and the, the disc will rotate and the camera will go up and down and it'll scan and make a 3D representation of this item that's sitting on there. It could be anything that fits in within this little range and, um, and that's it, you know, everything's software controlled from there. Uh, very user friendly, comes right out of the box again, you know, everything's assembled. The only thing really that you need to worry about is plugging in the USB cable and, and uh, one into this and one into your computer, your AC adapter, one into this, one into the wall. Of course, you got to choose which plug you want, snap it into place, and you're done. So again, it's all software from there. MSRP is $520. You can get it a little bit less, not too much, but it's probably like $580 or something, or excuse me, $480 <laughs> on places like Amazon. And, uh, but, and we will provide those links in the review when our team does the review, and we will provide a, a link to the review below in the description for this video if you're watching this directly on YouTube. Additionally, there's going to be some attachments coming out in July, I believe it is. It's going to allow you to do um, additional features yeah, or additional uh, abilities. It's going to unlock things uh, like uh, reading 3D photographs off of phones and whatnot, I believe. Uh, more information to come once that's uh, provided to us. So what you're going to want to do for now is go to pocnetwork.net forward slash blog or pocinc.net forward slash blog. Go check out the review once it gets posted, and um, we look forward to seeing what you think. Thank you for watching. We'll catch you next time. If you want to stay on top of all the latest and greatest and or at least the gadgets we cover, remember to subscribe right here. Subscription button. Click it. You're going to want to. There's lots of videos, interviews, previews, all sorts of stuff. Button. Click it.